this is Mon Valley Pro MVP for a reason. Thank you for tuning in to the Mon Valley Pro Podcast of Plenty six month anniversary. That's right, this is Podcast of Plenty, episode 26. Make sure you come check us out live Friday night, June 29th at the Mon Valley YMCA. 7 p.m. bell time. Get your tickets today. Introducing first from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing at 243 pounds, one half of the MVP Tag Team Champion, the Enforcer, Shaw. of the tag team titles on him. His partner must have been very grateful for getting the tag out because he's letting them wear a hand around. And I kind of like that practice. Look at it. The enforcer just dripping in gold. It's dripping, and it is ready. The enforcer, Sean Blanche, is now going to have a different type of opponent tonight. Well, he's going to be taking on the Magic Man, Lucia and the Beer. Oh, this is a man I've yet to see. All right, shut, shut up, shut up. Oh, let's listen to this. Shut your crap! Shut yours! There you go. Send them with a cheeseburger. There you go. Get him, Enforcer, get him. Tell her how it is. She's a nobody. So here's what's going to happen today. I love the Enforcer. I gave Lou Martin the day off because he doesn't want to come to a nothing happening town like Monaga Hale. And you know what? I agree with him. No pictures. So here's the deal. An open challenge to anyone in the back. I will wrestle a singles match and I will put up both belts. What? what? So you beat me, you become the tag team champ and pick the partner who you want. So let's go. What a bold challenge laid out by Sean Blanchard. <laughs> Wait, do you hear that? And his opponent, weighing at 220 pounds, the Enigma. And he knows, he knows he can beat Lucio DeVere. I know he can beat Lucio DeVere. He knows he can beat Lucio DeVere. Well, Lucio DeVere may walk out of here, the new tag team champions. Yes, plural. Highly unlikely. But he could. Who's, Sean Blanchard's put him on the line. It's who's, a bold maneuver. Who's he going to pick for his partner? I don't know. Anybody. It could be anybody. Someone, that, someone could be in the back right now. Get question. a drink of water. They could walk out of here tag team champion without even putting on the belt. Or be, on a mat. Better question. Who won a team with them? Someone that wanted to be champion. How long is that going to last? I don't know. Some people never get a shot at a belt. You never know who will step up. All right. Now the enforcer. Playing the clean. As is Lucia Which DeVere. Which is surprising. Usually Sean Blanchard is... It goes along, it goes above and beyond the line to pace when going after his opponents. You can't say I really fought him because it gets him results, obviously. He That's walked right. out here with two belts. That's right. He wouldn't be tag team champions if that was the case. Yeah. Big shoulder block. 
Dockey. Powering around the big guy. Oh, he picks it. Big scoop slam to the enforcer. Hip hop. The enforcer, Sean Blanchard. He's throwing the enforcer around like a rag doll, my man. What the heck? He I've never seen here. this. Comes off the ropes. Oh, oh those knees right to the top of the oh. back spine of the enforcer, Sean Blanchard. I have Blanchard. never seen the enforcer put oh. down like that. He is hurt. He put a whooping on him. I never thought I'd say that in my life. Sean Blanchard wishing he was the doctor of devastation on the golf course about right now. Yeah, he needs or, to be in the back nine. Or, or the batting cages, whichever you want to prefer. Yeah. Because, you know, he has that bat with him at all times. And hey. I've been threatened with it a couple times. Hey, you know what? He's doing good, though. He, he's, he's the super slugger of MVP. Yeah. yeah he's batting a 1,000. Is he from Louisville? <laughs> The enforcer, big double chops, comes out hard on the trap. He's just muscles blue shade of beer. Oh, now look at him. him. Look at him ripping his face apart. Oh my goodness. That has to impair at least two of the five senses of blue shade of beer. He doesn't really need a smell, yeah, but he needs a sight. <laughs> well, you know, the enforcer, Sean Blanchard, he's one of he and Dr. Devastation. Oh, he's biting him. The VIPs are one of the three great cripplers in life, the other two being. Polio. Yeah, well, <laughs> polio is one of them, and arthritis is the other. Polio, arthritis, the VIPs. Sounds right. We're going to need a lot of Now goes the beer. There's the cover. One, one count only. Come on, Mark! I now have learned something watching this match. If you get the opening uh, beat down on Sean Blanchard, and you really put him through the ringer, he's going to come back and rip your nose off your face, hit you in the groin, that's and snuff you out. That's because he's the enforcer. Oh, that is... It's turnabout fair play, but he's going about it all the wrong way. Uh, the crowd's getting on him for cheating. He's not cheating. He's just slightly bending the rules. All these little girls seem to think he's a cheater. Either on Jerry Springer or he's choking him. What do these little girls know? What, what does a little girl know about wrestling? They know if you get choked, you're cheating. Not necessarily. Oh. Only if you hold it past the count of five. No, then you get disqualified. For cheating. Yes. Oh, I tend to agree with Sean Blanchard. You better thank God you don't have Teddy Landers in there. Bold accusations from Sean Blanchard about the referee. Take it to the commissioner's office, Mr. Blanchard. File a grievance. Off the ropes. Here comes Lucio DeVere. Oh, sleeper There's hold. There's a sleeper hold, and look at this. The, oh, he's the, down to hey, one knee already. The, enig the enigma's not ready to be put out. <laughs> Look at him. His lights are gonna go short, uh, go south. The enigma fading here. Referee checking him. Jackson one. Two. One more and it's over. It's over. Sink it in, here Sean. He Sink it in. Oh no, he got it. He's still alive. He's still alive. He's you know, a lot, you know, a lot of times I think guys fake it just to get a break. You I never think, know. I think that there's, oh. I think whenever the referee raises their hand and drops it on one, they're still conscious. They just try to, you know, try ride to, it out. Yeah, try to ride it out as long as they can. It depends on how hard he's got it. If you got your chin pecked and you know that he thinks he's doing damage, but he's really not, why not ride it out? You know, get a couple extra seconds to breathe. Well, yeah, especially whenever you're in the ring with a guy like the enforcer, Sean Blanchard. You got to take every chance you got to get a breath and get your stamina up. Because he's coming Blanchard. with the beat down. Oh. oh, there's the big right hand. Sean Blanchard hits the mat in hard. The enigma turning it up. This is not good. Back elbow followed up with a clothesline. Sean Blanchard's on his back. Where's he going? Oh, oh. here comes Charger. Oh, double knee. Sternum. Blanchard comes out. No, Blanchard better do something. He's going. Oh, no. What's. He's going. He's you asking he's the crowd the what he should do. He's going up top. You see, that's where he's going to make his mistake. He's taking too long. You don't ask the humanoids anything. The humanoids are humanoids for a reason. That's where he makes his mistake. Here he comes. He's up on top. Up on the top. Sean Blanchard's three quarters away across. Oh. Frog splash. Missed. He missed the lily pad, didn't he? He missed it. There you go, Sean. 
There you go, Enforcer. He's enforcer right force. over here in front of us. He's grabbing the belts. He's grabbing the belts. The belts. What's he doing? Uh-oh. I don't like the way this is going. I do. Uh-oh, referee saw it. Stop. Brock Hudson, what's he doing? He's grabbing Brock the belt. Brock Hudson's bringing the belt back over to us. Bring it over here to Brock. Oh. Don't sit it down. Hey, get in the ring, get in the ring. Oh, big, oh, what a travesty. Remember, Mon Valley Pro's next show is the Honor 8 Tournament, Friday night, June 29th, at the Monongahela YMCA. You don't want to miss this action. Now, on our six-month anniversary, we here at Mon Valley Pro take a look back at where it all started. Mon Valley Pro, Podcast of Plenty, Episode 1. of MVP Michael McMoney alongside Larry Morris. Hey, I want to do it. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Whatever, dude, go ahead. I am the ladies' man, Larry Morris, coming to you for the MVP podcast of plenty. All right, all right, all right, all right, man. I can take Uh, it from here. All right. Now, as the voice of MVP wrestling, I've seen a lot of great matches in MVP, and... On this podcast, seeing as it's the very first podcast, many to come, I believe that, we're going to give you folks a special treat and show you some classic MVP action, along with a new match at the end, which I'm going to go ahead and leave the participants in that a surprise. What do you think about that, Larry? I think the people will be pleased with that. I yeah. think they'll be very surprised. But let's tell them what, what they are going to see. Along with our special surprise match at the end, you're going to see the New Age Punisher, T.J. Phillips, go one-on-one with Native American Zach Vincent. That one happened, I believe it was uh, July 25th, 2010, at the Manesson Civic Center, and uh, it was a good one. I was there front row for it. I called that match, and it, it, it was a barn burner. But along with that, we're also going to get to see TNA superstar Shark Boy come to town to take on, you guessed it, the red-headed stepchild himself, Super Ginger. But along with that, we'll have plenty more action. But right now, we're going to take you to TJ Phillips and Zach Vincent from July 25th, 2010.
heck of a match, my friend. Oh, uh, you ain't kidding, Larry. Whoa, man, I wish I would have had a time machine to go back in time and experience that full match in its entirety. You actually don't need a time machine. What? Now, I understand that you couldn't, that you can't go back and be there live like I was. I tell you what, it was such a great experience. But you can do the next best thing, Larry. You can go to the next MVP show, which we're going to be there, January 28th at the Mon Valley YMCA. Of course, of course. All right, go to any of the merchandise tables, and they have every MVP show to date there for their own DVD. Wow. No kidding. You can get any show. Uh, one that you should go check out, mm -hmm. it was from November 13th, 2010. The main event, TNA Superstar Sharkboy came to town Whoa. to take on... The local hero himself, the defender of redheaded step stepchildren everywhere, Super Ginger. Wow, man. Yeah, oh. I, once again, that's November 13th, 2010. I wish I could have been there. Superstars versus Mon Valley Pro Icon. I tell you what, Larry, if you didn't get enough there of the Shark Boy Super Ginger match, it's time I think I finally reveal today's special main event. Oh man, let We're it gonna, let are, it are you ready for this? Yes, sir. We're gonna show this match in its entirety. I'm sorry we couldn't show the other two matches, but 
time restraints. We saved it for this one. We got MVP zone, keyboard warrior, going one on one with the player from the Himalaya, Sanjay oh, Dutt. Man. Let's go to it. God, somebody please come out and do it then. Just like Terry Lynn, can somebody come out and shut this guy up? Hey, I bet you maybe Terry Lynn should come back for this one. We may actually get a win here. I don't know. Let's keep up. Oh, could it be? No. Oh, I know that music. Yes, it, it's got to be. The player from the Himalaya. J. Dutt. Yes. The oh, guru. there he is. We're going to see a pre-main event before the main event. Looks like Sanjay Dutt has volunteered to pull double duty for Mon Valley Pro tonight. I tell you what, Sanjay Dutt, I expected him and Strider, but... What's he out here for the keep? You know what? Maybe he's just out here to start the match. Maybe he doesn't take the keyboard warrior seriously, but I guess he will now. Well, the keyboard warrior did not give him a chance to answer. He whips him off the ropes. Oh, ducks the clothesline. Oh! Devastating super Chris kick. Adam style super kick and another one. Follows up with a pair. Lays him out. Oh, there's a standing shooting star. One, two... Three, Sanjay Dutt gets a winner with a keyboard. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that has got to be the fastest match I've ever seen. Oh my Michael goodness, Mike. the money. Keyboard warrior is going to definitely need a good ear, nose, and throat doctor after that one. Oh, you're not kidding. And you know what? Sanjay Dutt, the player from the Himalaya, you know, he went on later at night to become the MVP Masters Champion. And you can see all the MVP superstars coming January 28th at the Mon Valley YMCA in Monongahela, Pennsylvania. You know, so far set for that card. Local MVP backbone. He's the backbone of the company, J. Room. Is going to go one on one with my best friend, the Canadian national champion, the heartthrob Rick Evans. Whoa. Yeah, and that's going to be a part. Yeah, and I tell you what, Rick's Canadian national title is going to be on the line for that. Wow. Also, in the main event just announced, Chris, Chris LaRusso will take on Scott Prodigy and making his MVP. Debut, Ryan Mitchell, the Steel City Prodigy, in a triple threat match. How about it, huh? That's going to be an action pack night. Alright, once again, that's January 28th, the Mon Valley YMCA, Monongahela, Rick Evans against Jay Root for the Canadian title, Scott Prodigy against Chris LaRusso against making his debut, Ryan Mitchell. We'll see you guys there for, uh, this has been Podcast of Plenty, I am the voice of MVP, Mike Wick. Alongside the ladies' man, Larry Morris. We'll see you all January 28th. Really good. Ladies love it. Oh, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be our six-month anniversary. But the word anniversary itself means one year. So I guess you're going to have to tune in to Mom Valley Pro. Podcast of Plenty. For the next six months, so you can see our real anniversary. 
This has been Mom Valley Pro, Podcast of Plenty, Episode 26. We can't wait to see you ringside.